I'm gonna shoot this video for clay. Uh, looks like we could easy raise rice here next year. Combines, ooh, combines kind of look a little rough, a little waterlogged, a little muddy. Goodness, yeah. Whoever drives the combine has to wash it after the harvest is over. Tractors look a little muddy there too. All right, that's what we're up against. Over and out. So after a few days rain delay, we're finally back in the saddle. East of Gainesville, we made a little cross country move. And it's, we're cutting out one of our fields that I said in one of my previous videos about how bad we had freeze damage in places. Uh, this is one of them fields. It's the epicenter, the uh, Wuhan of freeze damage. It's probably one of our worst fields for freeze damage right here. This one in the field just on the other side of that tree line over there, it's it's so tough because that frozen out straw is still green. But finally plugging along back at it again after the rain delay. In the last video I said it was a mud bath and this field uh, we are going and it ain't even giving us any problems. I, even, I, sh I couldn't even be I could be getting along real well without even having my four-wheel drive in. So this is, it's head and shoulders drier than it was in Lindsay over here. So that's great. But the weed ain't as good, but we ain't fighting the mud. So that's good. That's great. Uh, there's one thing about this field that I think is pretty interesting. You can see how good of a stand that is right there. It's pretty darn thick and you can't see it right here. But if you look down, there's still straw. There's not straw, but there's still corn stalks in there because we we no-tilled this into stocks of corn last year, our corn crop last year. It was no-till, we never plowed it, we just drilled right into this um, ground and still got this near perfect stand. It's, it's, it's progressive. That's, that right there is one thing I will never understand. There's, those are, those are pickup tracks from someone, someone driving back into our field. Um, I'm not sure why, but it ran over our weed right there. It didn't make any, uh, they poached on our land and ran over our crop and I don't understand why, it doesn't make sense. Like I was saying earlier, this straw from being this wheat being froze out is so it's still green because it looks if you look across there it has that little golden cast to it like it's like it's matured, but when you get up in it and you're combining it, it the straw is still so so green like not grass green but it's got that little bit of green to it and it goes in this combine and it loads you down so as of right now I'm only combining about two and a half to two point six miles per hour and it's not very fun but I got to combine this to be able to cut the good stuff that's not frozen out so we're still rolling though that's good this is a this right here is a site I thought I'd never ever see again this wheat harvest um, that right there is, right here is the full wheel drive turned off. It, this field's so dry when I had the full wheel drive on, that's partially because it's, it was, it was no-till, like I said a while ago, when it had such a bottom to it, because it hadn't been worked all, hadn't been worked since last, last spring? Yeah, last spring. And it's, it's got a solid bottom to it, so we can, we can roll across it pretty well, and it's, it ain't muddy at all, that's, that's, feels better not being able not having a slip and slide everywhere it feels kind of uh, it feels kind of wrong that we're over here cutting with with no four-wheel drive and just a couple maybe 10 10 20 miles south of us the our custom harvesters the back these are had to bring in a pair of tracks to get across the ground and I'm I'm combining with no four-wheel drive it feels it just feels wrong that that we're gonna be able to get across it this easy at this place this will have problems other places but this place we're getting across it with no four-wheel drive and they're having to butt it out with their tracks and uh, I guess the difference that different kind of ground makes can't help it 
so sometimes while I sit here in this cab with the air conditioner and radio on I wonder why uh, our dad makes me and Jake makes me and Jake work so hard like he couldn't have picked a harder job on the farm for us to do besides sit here with our feet up against the window and, and run a combine with GPS steered itself it's tough there he is what's taking you so long Jake always happen to wait on Jake had mog run for about five seconds I don't know if you can see that machine over there the other combine if you're looking right in the sun I don't know but we're having all kinds of problems with that one, keeping it running, and uh, I'm not too worried about it though because all of them have the problems. We're just getting it broken in. It's gonna, it's gonna work. We'll get it going. We always do. Uh, I rarely ever say this in my videos, but this is just your uh, friendly reminder to like this video and subscribe and share it with your friends so we can get this word out. I've heard, I've heard many, many stories about how when the grain was frozen out, it would sit up on that platform right there and just stay and not go in because that straw is so green it wouldn't feed. But I'm thinking my prognosis right now for this is that there's just enough alive plants to keep that to keep that from happening and just keeps it circulating and going through. So. We looked out on that for this field. I don't know about the backfield. The backfield's backfield's gonna be pretty bad with freeze damage. Oh well, we can't change it now. I'm gonna go ahead and harp on this freeze damage one more time. Uh, this field was it was just now starting to mature and put put seeds in the head in the middle of April when it got down on this part of this part of Cook County got down in the lower 20s on April 20 the morning of April 21st it's it should never be that cold so that's I still can't even believe that happened it's this wheat should be making in the in the upper 80s to the mid 90s and this is right here is only making 50 so mother nature is always in charge <laughs> 